This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, January the 4th, 2013. Now, our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at noon today. We have an upper level feature over New Mexico and West Texas bringing some snowy weather to that part of the country. Disturbance moving through the Ohio Valley looks worse than it is. It's just an upper level feature with a few clouds. And around here, temperatures will be warming up again. Highs well into the 20s and lower to middle 30s across the state with plenty of sunshine. Saturday, we have a disturbance just to our south, a piece of that Texas storm. One piece goes into the Gulf, another comes up towards St. Louis. That could bring a few flurries, especially late in the day and mainly overnight Saturday night across the eastern counties. And by Sunday, it's east of the state over the Great Lakes and temperatures do cool back down into the 20s but this is going to be a short-lived cold snap or cool snap in this case because by monday the winds are back to the south again temperatures well into the 30s maybe approaching 40 in areas that do not have that much snow on the ground so we'll have to see about that tuesday we move to tuesday this is where we still have a little bit of of confusion here some models have nothing here tuesday GFS has rain and a little bit of snow coming here on Tuesday and then Wednesday that begins to pull out some snow maybe some measurable snow it's a little too early to determine but some models don't have it coming till Wednesday into Thursday so we'll have to wait and see but Thursday here on the GFS model winds back to the south temperatures back at least into the 30s maybe upper 20s depending on how much snow we get from the system that's now off into the Canadian Maritimes but cold air is on its way and you can see by a week from today next Friday here's a trough over the Plain States with some energy along it and that usually means some snow and in this case that means a little bit of snow moving past and cold weather coming back temperatures maybe back into the low twenties maybe teens again for highs and lows in the single digits above zero a couple days later on the seventeenth we have a cold, a cold polar vortex over hudson bay strong northerly flow coming out of canada and, and the north pole and that could bring an arctic front nearby with some snow with it being an arctic front this will be a very dry snow and not amount to a whole heck of a lot but this could change as could this on the next image which is the 19th at the end of the forecast you can see the vortex kind of moves south flattens out a omega block setting up way to our north and that's just going to pool the cold air straight south there's that arctic front in fact it's the same one with some snow very light if at all some measurements there Last night's satellite image showed the disturbance over West Texas and New Mexico not looking a whole heck of a lot here on the infrared satellite image. Some moisture through the Gulf of Mexico and through North Florida, a little bit of cloudiness over the Great Lakes and in the Northwest. We look at the watch warning map now from last evening. We had some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in New Mexico into a good portion of West Texas, some flood issues across Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana, and some lake effect snow over the Tucky Hill Plateau in upstate New York. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, showing some decent amounts of rain over the Pacific Northwest and into the Central Coast, along the Gulf Coast, up the East Coast, and a little bit around here with that system coming through here on Saturday.